In this video, we're going to be taking a look at CPU profit switching. One of the recent updates to the Mining Tools app was the introduction of profit switching on platforms outside of what to mine. So that includes pro hashing, and more importantly, that also includes Zerg pull. And so what we can do is we can leverage the APIs of those platforms to determine profitability uh, for kind of their platforms. And then we can essentially mine uh, whatever is most profitable across all the algorithms they support. Nice thing about Zergpool is they support most CPU algorithms. Uh, they don't support every CPU coin, but they're usually pretty quick on the new CPU coins. So if you're looking to mine an auto exchange for Bitcoin, for Flux, uh, for BNB, you know, for pretty much any coin. I think they even have ETHW there now. Uh, I'm not sure if they have uh, FAIR yet or not. But I do know that they have uh, the proof of work variant. <clears throat> you can leverage us to do that. Personally, I have been doing this for quite a while. And I'm auto exchanging to Flux uh, for all my coins. I really don't mind Flux. Uh, I never really have a long time ago uh, when it first came out. Uh, when Zellhash first came out, I mined it a little bit. Uh, that was back in like 2018. Haven't mined it really lately that much. And so I'm trying to accumulate some of it. So I'm mining with my CPUs and auto exchanging for Flux and getting paid out uh, at least once or twice a week. So it's nice. So let's talk about how you can get that up and running and kind of what it looks like. So one of the capabilities you have, if we just come into a random rig here, is if I go to add new record, we pull up the list of coins we see we have all of our typical coins that you would find on what to mine. But then if you scroll down, you'll see you have your nice hash coins. You also have everything from pro hashing that you can configure. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you also have everything from Zergpool. And you're going to see every algorithm Zergpool supports. Some of these are FPGA, some of these are ASIC, uh, some of these are GPU, and a lot of these are CPU. So I actually already have a rig set up, and I just kind of show you what you'll have to set up. You'll have to input your hash rate and your power for each algorithm. Let me jump. I have a B-Link mini PC. Uh, this is just a mini PC that has, I think, like a seller on dual core in it. Uh, so obviously not very profitable, but surprisingly, if we sort by profit, it's actually making two cents a day on Varus, uh, which is kind of shocking to me. Uh, I've been mining with these for a while, and so it's uh, in the down market to still be profitable is definitely amazing. Imagine what this would be doing right now, you know, if Varus was back up to where it was. So that's definitely cool to see. But if we just sort by algos, you can see. Every algorithm that I have configured, I've got flight sheets for all of them. I've got my hash rate, and again, this is in mega hash. So you might have to use a converter if you're unfamiliar with the decimal places. Make sure everything's in mega hash, and your power is going to be in watts. And so really, all you have to do is just plug these numbers in. You'll be able to see real-time profitability uh, on this view. If you want to refresh it, you can just refresh the screen. Reselect the rig, come down, this will be, all be real-time profitability. Uh, so here we can see we have Allium, uh, Argon 2D4 and 9.6, Blake 2B, Blake 2S, BMW 512, C11, CPU Power. Uh, we even have Kryptonite Haven, Kryptonite UPX, Curve Hash, and again with Haven and Curve Hash, they're also GPU mineable, so the profitability on these are going to be relatively low for the most part. 
Uh, Ghost Rider, one of the more popular ones. Uh, Ghost Soul, an older algorithm, but it is technically still mineable. And what you're going to notice with all these CPU coins, the profitability is really close between them. So I may be losing three cents a day, technically, but that's pretty much the same thing on every algorithm, which is actually nice to see. There's no wild swings here. Uh, Heavy Ash, HMQ1725 Ketchik, uh, Library, which you can still technically CPU mine, even though it's pretty much controlled by ASICs. But one of the things, again, you're going to see CPU mining it. You're only losing three cents a day in the current market. And that's only with less than a mega hash. Uh, I have an LB box, and I think that thing gets like half a tera hash, maybe more. So to to be that close in profitability is definitely cool to see here. Uh, layer 2 Rev 2. Uh, layer 2 Rev 3 is no longer on the listing since Vertcoin moved to Vert Hash. Uh, there's no other coins on Layer 2 Rev 3. Uh, we've got Layer 2Z, Layer 2Z330, M7M, uh, which used to be Magi coin. Uh, back in 2018, it was really popular on this. There's now a different coin using this algorithm. Uh, I actually like mining this a lot with my Raspberry Pis. Uh, we've got the Mike algorithm, which is a fork of Ghost Rider, I believe. Minotaur X, uh, Myriad, Neoscript, Power2B, Qubit, again an ASIC firmware, or ASIC uh, ELGA, Random Arc, Random X, which would be your Moneros, uh, your Bible Pay, things like that. Script, Script N2, Shaw 3D, which I actually mine this with my FPGA as well. Uh, Skeen, Skeen 2, Tribus, another FPG ELGA. Varus hash, obviously mining the most of. In fact, Varus, I've been mining the most of, I would say, for the past three years or so. Um, there was a little bit of Raptorium in there in those early days. Uh, you know, I was getting like $5 a day on Raptorium uh, before the big spike in hash. Uh, so, on and off with Varus during that time, but for the most part, I've been relatively stable on Varus Hash. And then we've got uh, a lot of the cycling algo. So, we've got X11, X13, X16R, X16R, T, X16RV2, X16S, X17, X21S. Then we've got X25X. Um, this is Cinovate, I believe, is on this algo. So this one's also GPU mineable. And again, you'll see it's only losing two cents a day. Which means this thing, actually mining this algo is more efficient than GPUs mining this algo right now. Um, Zeven, Yescript, Yescript R16, R32, uh, Yespower, R16, Sugar Tide, and URX. And so from a... From a B-Link standpoint, what you're going to see here is pretty much all of these algos fluctuate between 8 mega or 8 watts and 16 watts. This thing has a TDP of 16 watts. These are all measured at the wall. But this kind of gives you an idea of how you can set this thing up to profit switch your CPU rigs. I do not recommend using this if you have a mixed rig right now of CPU and GPU. Uh, because it's right now it's only capable of looking at one coin for that profitability. So unless you want to statically GPU mine a specific coin and then fluctuate the CPU side, you can use this for that. But for now, I would try to stick with either configuring a GPU rig or configuring a CPU rig. I probably wouldn't use this for split rigs. I do have some plans to add in some secondary coins that we can use for some calculations. Moving forward, we might be able to do um, like a CPU-GPU combo for those calculations and for those profit switching. But as of right now, I would try to stick with either GPU or CPU. The purpose of this video was just to kind of walk you through how you could configure that to do true CPU profit switching.
And again, with these, you could set your flight sheet up to get paid out in all these individual coins if you wanted to. Uh, or you can have it auto exchange with you. That's the nice thing about Zergpool. That's it for this video. Drop me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts.